Good morning, y'all. So this morning, we're gonna have a cup of floral tea for anemia. Now, if you are anemic, then you know that when your iron levels get low or when your red blood count is starting to get on the lower side, then the fatigue comes. In the past, I would get so tired when my iron levels got low that I could barely keep my eyes open and I definitely couldn't get out of bed. So over time, I discovered natural ways to combat the fatigueness of being anemic. Now, of course, you can get iron, you can take iron supplements or you can get iron injections. But what I found, and I'm sure many of you can relate, that with iron supplements, constipation comes. So we don't want that. So over time, I decided to start to research flowers and natural herbs that helps to increase the iron levels at a moderate rate and things that help to give you energy, especially if you are anemic. It's safe to take even if you aren't anemic, but this tea consists of hibiscus, blueberries, beetroot powder, and roses. The hibiscus and the beetroot powder helps to increase the iron levels. This tea is filled with vitamin C, so it also helps to boost your immune system the roses creates a sense of calm and it also helps with PMS. And then the blueberries is a great source of antioxidants. So I'm going to open up my box set. This box set is a box set that I created with three of my flower teas. They come in two ounce jars. So you can test out each tea before you purchase the full jar. And then it also comes with this really nice pouch that I like to use if I want to take my teas to go, if I want to take it out of town and travel, I can drink my teas even on the airplane or airport. So before you start to sip your tea, I want you to think of drinking tea as a ritual, as a daily ritual. It's a ritual that's going to help you to ground yourself and help you to create a sense of calm before you start your day. I'm going to take a teaspoon of tea. And I'm going to try to get a little bit of everything. So like I said, it has blueberries, hibiscus. Roses and beetroot. So I have a spoonful of everything and then we're going to put it into our cup. We're going to pour hot water into the cup. And then this tea changes from a nice pink color to red and then sometimes to a, a berry purplish color, depending on how much of the berries in comparison to the hibiscus, in comparison to the roses that you get in your teaspoon. But you can just stop and look at the colors change. And this within itself is a meditative process. Today, I want us to leave with the thought that anything is possible. All right, so as I'm crafting teas, as I'm learning more about flowers that heal, I've been all over the world traveling, learning about flowers and the healing properties of flowers. It starts to remind me that the world and God is full of infinite possibilities. I think about that if something can literally grow out of dirt and can create this harmony within our bodies can actually heal our bodies, heal illnesses, and then create such beautiful colors. It just reminds me that whatever I wanna do is possible.